Hey guys, so uh, I'm at a place that was built in 1901. It's a it's a park. Um, behind me, you can see like that uh, that pond area back there. Uh, maybe I can move with my. So back there, there we go. Um, it's actually drained. Uh, so the first time in, geez, I don't know how long it's been drained. Um, so again, it was established in 1901. Uh, it's a pretty historical spot here. Uh, so we'll see what we can come up with. My buddies are going to meet me in a little bit and we're going to actually go out to the pond. But first I'm going to take a couple look around uh, on the grounds and see what I can find. So uh, on to the first one and we'll see you in a little bit, okay? Uh, we're going to hunt those high, town, high tones. Um, you know I love the high tones. It's in my name, High Tone Hound. Uh, high tones, coin shoot, and relic hunt. So hopefully we'll find some cool stuff. Uh, see you in a little bit. Take care. All right, first plug of the day. I literally went five feet from the car and I've got it right there. So let's see what this is. I'm gonna back it out and get a little better shot of it. See if we can see what it is here, guys. There it is. Little bottle cap. So you see what I'm gonna be facing here when I get up here, but old bottle cap. Still good. No the detector's working right on point. Um, yeah, pretty old one. All right, see you guys on the next one. So this is a pretty cool area. This is just the front of the area we're about to go to tech down in the uh, empty pond right over there. I think it's a pond, lake. I don't know what they're calling it, but uh, there was some structural problems over by the roadway over there uh, involving the bridge. So they're going to take out the water and redo the bridge. Um, so cool area. You can see some of the setups down here. Uh, it's an old fire pit. Um, so we're going to go check around these trees. These trees have been here a long time. So always around the trees first and then uh, we'll work the grounds. When my buddy Jim gets here, we're going down into that mucky, muddy stuff. See what we can get. See what people toss in there since 1901. All right, guys, on to the next. All right, so this one came up as a, it was a really nondescript tone. It was very faint. And I mean, this is what Doug, it's a big piece of iron. Um... It's been there a while, big piece. I don't know if it's uh, hand forged or let's get in closer on that. Cool though, cool. We need to start finding some old pieces and uh, things around this area. Uh, like I said, in a little bit, we'll get into that pond and uh, check some stuff out, see ya. All right, I got this one. It came up as a uh, as a money hit and we'll see what happens here. Um, oh, helps if it's on. Yeah, it's G GP pointer. Once I get into this, I'll, I'll invest a little bit more, so see what we got. I can only presume it is, oh, beaver tail. All right, well, we're on the right track. Beaver tails are pretty old, so good enough. On to the next. All right, we made it down to the uh, washed out pond. It's pretty pretty precarious. Got my buddy uh, Jim there in the background doing his thing. So uh, see what we come up with. So far, it's a lot of uh, junk tones on here, but uh, hopefully we come up with something good. <laughs> A lot of flies and stuff, so catch you. We'll let you know. See ya. No, no, no. All right, guys. So first good plug of the day. You can see it sitting there. It is a penny. I can already see it. Just gotta get this glove off. This stuff's pretty nasty. Um, let me zoom in on this sucker. Yeah, it's actually a newer one. It's newer. I can't see the date. The date's pretty corroded in there. All right, newer penny. And we're on the right track though. On the next one, you can see how murky this is. Um, 1976. Actually well preserved for being a 76. 1970, 1976. Cool. On to the next. All right, so there it is. Today's haul, the marble. The marble's what really gets me. That came up as a tone and it came up as a marble. So uh, those two little nails right there, oh man, they're a pain in the butt when they're uh, ground colored and you get the tones and then the penny. So, you know what? At least I know what's there at that park. Um, nothing I want to go back to. So we're going to move on to something better and a little more uh, entertaining. Um, at least we tried for this one. So, cool. See you guys. All right, so 1901. I think something that's 118 years old would be better than Jim found a quarter. So he beat me, and I found a penny. 
1970s era penny he got a 1960s era quarter so i mean it's here i just we're getting bogged down by beaver tails and pull tabs and can slaw and you know i found some tiny nails and a freaking glass marble like i got a tone i dug it it was a glass marble uh, what's that all about um so i gotta upgrade the detector it's really picking up on a lot of the metal that i'm wearing so uh, i'm kind of having to disseminate between all that so uh this is what it is so i'll uh, we'll do a Hope you enjoyed the summary. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. See you. Actually, I'll see you next time. Subscribe below. Uh, maybe I'll review a uh, metal detector. Uh, Jim gave me a good idea. Uh, let's get on. Review, uh, at least I'll review my Rico Max. It's an entry level that I've been using, just trying to break it in. And uh, maybe I'll borrow one or two and show you how some of the older older boxes do. All right. Uh, we're going to go hit something that's older, closer to our houses instead of up here. We just want to try this. See you.